-hmm. I'm cutting my uh, pizza dough for my niçois pizzette. And basically, it's like a niçois salad on a pizza, so they're really fun. I'm just taking a four inch cookie cutter and cutting out some store-bought pizza dough to make these. I like them a little bit smaller, they're easier to eat. When um, I have the spa day, it's nicer to have smaller bits of food rather than, you know, a big old pizza that you cut in pieces. Everybody gets their own little pizzette. So the topping. And the idea behind this is that the tapenade made of the niçoise olives is actually all the flavors that you would find in a niçoise salad. So we're gonna use one cup of niçoise olives. And I like them because they're nice and rich. And you can buy them um, already pitted, so it makes it really easy. Then we're gonna add one garlic clove. Again, not overpowering with the garlic. There we go. We're also gonna add a little bit of lemon juice just to lighten the flavors up. When I make a niçoise salad, I like to make a little lemon vinaigrette to go with everything. It kind of brightens up the flavors of the tuna and everything. So instead, this time, I'm adding the lemon juice and the fresh citrus flavor into the tapenade. Then for a little bit of a bright sort of herby flavor, we're gonna add some rosemary and a little bit of thyme. The rosemary oh, is sort of um, slightly minty, which I really like. It's nice and earthy, so it really stands up when you bake it in the oven. You want herbs that are nice and hearty. And then the thyme is nice and lemony, so it works really well with the lemon that we just added in there. Kind of brightens up all of the flavors. We'll just chop this up. Okay, we'll put that right in there. We're gonna add some capers. So I just buy some capers and then I just rinse and drain them. It takes away some of the uh, saltiness of the capers. Then, anchovies. Now, a lot of times in Niçois salads, you will find anchovies. As a kid, I grew up eating lots of anchovies, especially on my pizza. So we're gonna use two anchovy fillets. It's that little bit of salty bite that you just don't get um, from regular salt, you know? You could also use anchovy paste if it's easier. To kind of give it a little bit of moisture, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons or so, just so we can blend this all together. So now, let's blend it until it's smooth. smells so good, so rich. It looks so, so pretty. All right, now, here we go. We are just gonna take some of the tapenade, make sure that it's nice and, and creamy and smooth so that you can spread it out on top of each piece of uh, pizza dough. So this is gonna take the place of any tomato sauce. we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice some tomato and we're basically gonna put a slice of tomato on top of the tapenade. Place it right on top, kind of push it ever so slightly so the tomato can stick to the tapenade. And then I drizzle a little bit of olive oil just to keep the tomato nice and moist and give it a golden color. We're gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. And up next, I'm gonna show you how to finish these guys off.